All right, welcome back everyone, Mon here. Okay, so we're going to have a look at Potionomics, the demo. It is going to be released on the 17th of October, and I'm a little bit about it. I've had my eye on this one for quite some time. After the untimely death of her uncle, a penniless witch named Sylvia finds herself thrust into the role of potion proprietor. It's all up to her to carry on her uncle's legacy and keep his potion shop afloat. Thankfully, she won't go at it alone. With help with some friends, Sylvia might hone in her negotiation skills, outsell her craftiest competitors, and make her shop the number one potion destination in Rafter. It's all about mastering the finer points of potionomics. Let's get started. Only smart and beautiful people. Oops. Yeah, and don't forget to like and subscribe really helps the channel. My dearest Sylvia, welcome to Rafter. Greetings from Rafter. It's here on this charming island that I build my potion shop. Fulfilling my long life dream, I hope that one day you will be able to see it. I'm among the very first to set foot in the island since Maven, the Witch Queen, fell in battle. Her unsanctioned experiments made this land like no other. Who knows what riches await me? Love to your mother. Tell your father he still owes me money. Your uncle, Oswald. Dearest niece, thank you for sending me a photo. Sending me... what? Thank you for sending me your potion. Sadly, it must have spoiled in translate. Unless you meant for it to taste like old cabbage. Anyway, keep at it. It warms my heart to think you might follow in your old uncle's footsteps. After mountains of paperwork and months of construction, my potion shop is finally a reality. We open our doors tomorrow. Wish me luck. Although, what could go wrong? Sincerely, Uncle Oswald. Oh, in loving memory of Oswald. Sylvia, if you're reading this, it means I'm dead, which isn't great. More to the point, it means I've died without an heir. I implore you, Sylvia, don't let this be the end of my shop. My dream. Come to Rafter, accept your inheritance, and show this town what our family is capable of achieving. You can do it. Dearly departed, Oswald. Ow! Please accept our firm's condolences for the recent loss of your relation, Oswald. Per the terms of Oswald's will, you are the lawful recipient of the property in the islands of Rafter. However, given the island remote's location and usual history, such an inheritance must be claimed in person, or else will be deemed forfeit. We hope that this inheritance offers some comfort in your time of mourning. Considering the significant sums your uncle borrowed from a <coughs> excuse me, borrowed from our establishment, it's certain to be impressive piece of property. <laughs> Beautiful. This is my inheritance. I would have been better off living in my parents' basement. Oh my gosh. It's bad enough that the shop is in disrepa disrepair. But did I have to be settled with Oswald's unpaid debts too? I thought this was going to be my lucky break. Instead, I'm stuck cleaning up his messes. Let's not speak ill of the dead now. The graphics is fantastic. This is such an awesome little game so far. Your uncle, I'm sure he did a lot of things differently, but he was a fine man and he only wanted the best for you. Easy for you to say, he probably gave you all the mice you could eat. Preposterous, I wasn't some lowly pet. I was, well, I was his business partner, the brains of the whole operation. Operation that's currently insolvent. Is that the operation you mean? There were unforeseen challenges, but now you're here, and between us, we have everything we need to turn this place around. I guess I do know my way around a cauldron. And I have the business acumen, and, you, and you'll and you need if you're going to make your potions profitable. The sun's coming up, and we should get started. You know what they say. The early bird catches the operating profit. Enjoy the sneak peek of potionomics. Please tell your friends about it. 
Okay, next fist. One day. Next fist is in full swing. Thank you for taking time to try Potionomics. Have fun. Push list. And release the 17. Let's start the day. Ah, beautiful morning. Now, the real work can begin. First things first, we need to craft some potions. Let's head over to the cauldron and get brewing. I love this. Okay, so we brew. Your uncle left a handful of ingredients behind. We'll have to make do with that, those for now. We're in luck. These ingredients are just what we need to craft some mana potions. Oh, do tell. Haven't heard the basics yet. Every magical ingredient contains... Magimans or Magimans? The arcane essence needed to create viable potions. It's the specific combination of Magimans or Magimans, probably Magic for magic, that will determine what kind of potion you'll create. To make a mana potion, you'll need a roughly equal amount of green and yellow Magimans. Let me put these ingredients in the cauldron. We can check the ratios before we commit to the brew. All right. Okay, so the ratio of Magimans looks perfect. This will make three minor mana potions. High quality, I'll set the potion or the cauldron to brew. Looking good, now that we've just got to give the cauldron some time to do its thing. I know just what will... what... what? I know just what to do while we wait. Alright. Potions will be ready in the afternoon. In the meantime, I have some old ones in our inventory. Let's go ahead and arrange them on the shelves. Is that all? <laughs> Arranged potions. All right, so... Okay, now put them on the shelf. Once that's done, they'll be available for sale when we open the shop. Okay. Good. Now when customers come in, they will see what we have to offer for purchase. I should mention, the shelf on which you have put the potion will have an effect on the potion's value. These shelves are underwhelming and we can invest in some better ones later. Now that's cool. Okay, cauldron is bubbling, potions are shelved. What's next? And could dance be breakfast? We're ready to open the store. Let's sell some potions. This is really cool. So open the store to customers. Cost two time slots. Oh. Only smart and beautiful people with great taste play. <laughs> Personomics. <laughs> My first ship, I, shift. I hope I'm ready for this. You are. You must be. Just keep the basics in mind and you'll be fine. Haggling. It's the art of negotiating with a customer in order to get the highest possible sum for your potion. Interest is key to raising the price of a potion. As you increase a customer's interest, you will also increase the perceived value of the potion. But keep a close watch on the customer's patience. If their patient reaches zero, they'll leave without making a purchase. Disaster! Of course, customers have strategies of their own. Among other tactics, they'll try and inflict stress upon you. The more stressed you are, the more problems you'll have. Got all that? Just remember, raise their interest without burning through all their patience. Oh, here comes one now. You've got this. Good to see you. I mean it. Peppy commoner. This looks pretty great if the price is right. All right. Set them up. Braise interest by four. If opener apply, set them up. All right. Now that I have the attention, I can reel them in. Oh, well, nice. All right. And then, oh, okay. Moderately interested. Embrace yourself. Gain shield. 
Order for ducks back. Okay, let's see what the customer has to say. Customer's turn. Well, I came in, I thought the potions would be cheaper. Ah, oh, that's gonna keep me up tonight. Good thing I was ready for that, otherwise I would have been stressed. Alright. I'm sort of feeling it. Can't wait to try it. Thanks, come again. Come on up. Oh god. Such a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I'm Saffron. I'm fascinated by how quickly the town is growing. At this rate, it might encroach upon my forest home soon. She looks really stunning. You live in the forest? I do. I'm a carpenter by trade and mostly self-sufficient. God, they've done such an incredible job. Look at the pipe and... All right. But bring potions is a special skill and one that I lack. Would you care to sell me this? All right. Raise interest. Does she not have raise the customer's interest? All right. But how... It's one of my finest potions. Okay. And then I think we will brace ourselves. Let me think about this. What can I say to convince you? Raise interest by fervor. Worth every coin, I can tell you. Okay, great. Thanks, come again. Come on up. Greetings, Tusless One. I am Maktuk. Like you, I'm an artisan newly arrived upon these shores. I'm eager to test your wares for potion crafting. <clears throat> Is a noble profession. A noble profession indeed. And yet I cannot help but notice you appear to be brewing your potions in a shabby bucket of some kind. Yeah, my cauldron seen better days, but the chewing gum seems to be holding it <laughs> together so far. You must visit my stall in the marketplace to discuss an upgrade. But for now, commerce. All right. You chose a good one. All right. It's one of my finest potions. And that's... And then enter. I must have this potion on. I show no pressure. Yeah. The perfect transaction. All other transactions are weak and inferior. Thanks, come again. That's all of them for now. What did you think, Elle? Not too shabby, right? For the first effort, that went well. But I have notes. Of course you do. You'll find that there are times when your usual tricks aren't working and when you don't like any of your options. When that happens, don't be afraid to take a breath, dig deep, and take a mental mulligan. Discard entire hand, draw a new card for each. Oh, cool. That's not bad advice, actually. I look forward to seeing you put it to use. Why don't you take a breather? I'll hollow when the cauldron is done brewing. I think I could get the hang of all of this. 
Hey, what's the big idea? You can't set up shop here. Sure I can, I live here. Are you invoking squatter's rights? Because I've got dibs. <laughs> I've been kicking back in the trash heap for weeks now. You didn't clean up that weird looking mildew in the corner, did you? I was saving that for later. I think there's been some mistake. My name's Sylvia, I've just inherited this place. Oh. Uh, just when you're sure you know condemned building when you see it. But maybe your arrival isn't all bad news. You're obviously some kind of potion switch. As it happens, I've got a semi-legitimate business selling all sorts of magical ingredients. You know, like the kind of stuff used to make potions. You should kick some business my way. Sure thing. I'm definitely going to need ingredients before long. And now when it's time to buy, you'll think of me, Quinn. I'll call that planting the seed. Feel free to use it in your own hustle. Oh, that's so cool. Raise interest by eight at the start of customer's turn. You know, I think I will use that. But where can I find your shop? It's hard to miss. Just look outside and look up. I look forward to doing business. So once I'm up and running, I'll need ingredients pretty regularly. I guess I'll see you around then. Unless that weird mold you get to first. <laughs> Good job on your first set of haggles. Your potions aren't quite ready. Why don't you travel and visit some of the new vendors you met? Who knows, you might learn a thing or two and foster some relationships. That's so cool. Quinn runs an ingredient shop, purchase ingredients to give us... Alright. Yeah, well, we do need ingredients. The final potionomics experience will have about... Don't look down. Shop. Purchase ingredients for bring. Okay. Idea what I'm purchasing. We'll get two of each. All right. Fourteen twenty eight. No, it's more than I own. All right. Give an ingredient as a gift to strengthen the friendship. Give gifts as an ingredient of ingredients to fellow vendors in order to show your appreciation. Different people like different ingredients, so try to find out what they might prefer. Sure, thanks. I guess I've got a minute. Okay, so we'll include 20 unique craftable potions and 100 something. This is sort of an unusual location for a business, isn't it? It has its perks. I do like the view. You can see the whole town. Yeah, so I can spot trouble coming a mile away. Listen, in business, you've got to use any advantage you've got, whether that's on the high ground or a low blow. Got the upper hand, that's when you press the attack. Sweet. I'm willing to make the most of the advantage. As soon as I get an advantage, I mean. Just now, I could use an advantage in the marketplace. It might fit the bull. Come on, follow me. Alright, here's the deal. There are a total of four chocolatiers in this town. Each one of them gives out a free sample per customer per day. What are you waiting for? Go get him. Spurred by the urgency of Quinn's Sylvia plunges it into a throng. The chocolate is on hard to find. In a matter of minutes, she has four small chocolate treats. Yoink. Hey, wait a minute. What gives? 
You can't be that lazy. First of all, I wouldn't underestimate my laziness if I were you. But more to the point, I've got a lifetime ban from those stalls, all four of them. Well, in that case, I'm glad I could help you out, I guess. Hey, don't be sore. I'll share if you want. But they use some unusual ingredients in these things. You never know what's inside until you take a bite. Unusual ingredients, as in monster parts, among other things. Uh, why use such strange ingredients? That's what we have access to. You've got to understand the sign was off limits for years. And all the time the land was stewing in sweet, sweet magical juices. So pretty much anything you find here is going to have magic in it. I guess we have that dead witch to thank for that, Maven. She performed some pretty out there experiments before the Heroes Guild took her out. Sounds like you admire her, wasn't she evil? Better evil than boring. Maybe she could have taught me some things. Maybe I could have taught her some things. Anyway, the land Maven left behind is a weird place, full of weird stuff. And I like weird. Weird is rare, weird is valuable. The hard part is getting our hands on the best stuff. We need the local heroes to do, to, you know, get good. They rely on potions when they're out there foraging. So if you level up your craft, they get better and you and I both benefit. So we're in this together again. That's sort of sweet. Yeah, sure. Super sweet. As long as you don't turn out to be a dead weight. Now I gotta get back. Boxer and what? Getting antsy. Boxer gets antsy if I leave him for too long, and I get the impression you got your work cut out for you. I compel you to buy potionomics. Is it working? <laughs> so cool. Head over to the cauldron and prepare the potions. Craftable potions are more than a hundred ingredients. The meta potions are done cooking, I will bottle them. Ratio of measurements was perfectly balanced, so these should be high quality potions. Let's see. These are very good potions considering our limitations. A cauldron that holds more ingredients would allow you to make potions of a higher tier. But that's tomorrow's problem. Today we shall sell what we have, the best price we can get. Alright, I'm just going to make the same stuff because I won't know what else to do right now. Get those potions shelled and then we can open up for the afternoon. Oh, expand the shop turn lock. Alright. When hanging, remember to use the new tips you picked up. Applying what you've learned will be critical to coming out ahead. Okie dokie. At least we'll be able to customize the shop with cauldron shells, wallpaper flooring, and every other thing. Oh wow, is this an actual potion shop? I could have sworn it was all boarded up just the other day, and now... Potions! My name's Sylvia, resident potion switch, and by resident I mean literally live here. I'm Mint, a hero in training. I'm off on an adventure, and I'm going to need this, your strongest potion. There's no better potion for you. Alright, enter. I want to succeed even if it costs me. No. You chose a good one.
Oh, shit. Oh, uh, nasty with a... Greetings and salutations. It is I, Baptista. As guildmaster for the local chapter of the Heroes Guild, it's my duty and my privilege to welcome you to Rafter. Thanks for saving me the trip. I figured I'd drop on the guild soon. Where I come from, heroes really like their potions. It's doubly true here. On the edge of civilization, my heroes rely on potions to survive the monsters infested wilderness outside our town's borders. What are you asking for this lovely little dollop? Oh, so patience is 12. Beautiful. We got 10 more. All right. I'm a knowledgeable, then you give me credit for. Yeah, whatever. Kind of interested. In turn, minus two patients. Sod it. A happiness, I know how it feels. Thanks again. Step right up. I love the characters in this. This is so stunning. Hi, Sylvia Wright. Welcome to our up and coming little town. I'm Luna, founder and sole proprietor of Raptor's newest, best, and boldest marketing agency. I don't know much about marketing. I thought I'd just leave myself a bunch of fake reviews. I can do better than that. Uh, let me know if you need help getting your message out there. I can show you how to cut through the noise of crowded marketplace. She is so cute. Is she a fairy? Or moth or something? Luna, obviously moth, moon. I'm not just here to give you my pitch. This potion caught my eye. She's got seven. Customer buff loses an additional patience per turn. No, close the deal. <laughs> Gamma strife of a potion swish, which it's not quite as I pictured. Ooh, fancy witch. Well, what do we have here? I'm Sylvia. What can I do for you? Oh, did you mistake me for a customer? That's adorable. I'm not a customer. My name is Roxanne and I am your competition. What? Oh, don't look so alarmed. I'm not here to sabotage you. And if I were, well, it appears someone else beat me to it. Or is your shop supposed to look like this? I know the place could use some work, but don't count me out just yet. I'm new to all of this, but I'm already getting the hang of it. You think so, do you? Well, think again. Raft is a strange island teeming with magic and mystery. There's a hearty demand for potions here, but the market is volatile and demand can change as quick as the weather. Just when you think you've got your footing, this place will throw a curve your way. Now, personally, I know a thing or two about curves, but you... Don't worry about me, Roxanne. I can handle a bit of toil and trouble. So why don't you just leave me to my business and go mind your own? If you insist, but I warn you, as of today, putting you out of business is my business. And business is looking very good. <laughs> Can you believe her, the nerve? Are you really so surprised? It's nice that you met some friendly vendors earlier today, but don't let that fool you. Business is all about competition. You won't make it very far if you're afraid of ruffling feathers. 
You said I was afraid. I'm not backing down, not for Roxanne and not for any other opponents waiting in the wings. I don't expect to be the only potion shop in town, but mark my words, Al, I'm going to be the best one. When you put it like that, my girl, I find it easy to believe you. In that case, what are we waiting for? Come on, Al, let's get to work. Oh, that was the end. That was quite lovely. I cannot wait for this one to come. It's already wishlisted. This is so cool. Well, guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And please take it easy wherever you are. Peace and love. Mon out.